Sir Joe Bosano believes that Spain has agreed to an initial four-year implementation period for a treaty, if one can be agreed, on the premise that those Spanish politicians in favour of the treaty believe that after four years the people of Gibraltar will have seen the benefits of the treaty and will accept Frontex officers getting replaced by Spanish officers. The Schengen controls can only be done by a Schengen member state. We made it clear uh, in the uh, December uh, uh, understanding that under no circumstances would we be willing to do a treaty in which control of entry into Gibraltar was carried out by Spanish officials. He told GBC's viewpoint people in Gibraltar may have to decide what is more unpalatable. Having a Guardia Civil in the airport and port controlling entry for non Gibraltarians, or not seeing their family and friends in Spain so often. He thinks most Gibraltarians would agree to see their family and friends less. Sir Joe dismissed the idea that he sees cross frontier workers as numbers that need to be reduced rather than people with lives intertwined with those of the people in Gibraltar. He said it's more simple than that because if a treaty cannot be agreed, the frontier would stop being fluid and there would be a queue of 15,000 cross-frontier workers trying to enter Gibraltar and they wouldn't be able to do so quickly enough. He said Gibraltar cannot risk its health and care services collapsing because its workers are stuck on the other side of the frontier. In order to avoid this scenario, Sir Joe said Gibraltar is restructuring its economy to reduce its dependence on cross-frontier workers. The Minister for Economic Development also confirmed a group of investors will be assimilating all of its projects in one holding company in Gibraltar from where it will manage its investments in green energy in the US, the UK and elsewhere with a current valuation of approximately £20 billion. Sir Joe said the company will pay some tax here and top executives on high pay will be based here and would themselves pay tax, perhaps more, he said, than 1,000 waiters. The government minister also has responsibility for social security. He said he's proposing a 1% increase in social insurance contributions this year and then again next year. And in response to a question from the public, Sir Joe also said the government is not going to increase interest rates at the savings bank anytime soon.